Hey everybody, welcome back to round two of the water comparison video series. Tonight I'm going to compare all five of these waters and decide which one I think tastes the best. And the winner is going to move on to round three. So again, I'm in Park City, Utah on vacation. So I'm kind of rushing to do these videos, to be honest. I haven't really taken any notes on these. This video is just mainly going to be honestly about just the taste of the waters. Um, we have two still unflavored waters and two flavored and or sparkling waters. And these are just from local grocery stores in Utah. And here we go. First up is Chantum Burvler water. This is 1868 water. I think this is from France. And it's just a still water in a glass bottle. This is from Cost Plus World Market, I believe. It's pretty good. Tastes like it has a high, a high total dissolved solids. Tastes kind of dirty, a little bit dirty, but uh, it's not bad. It's definitely a, it's a good water. I'd recommend you not drink it any day. I have no problems with it. Next up is True Water, Alka True Water. A huge one gallon bottle. So I drank a little bit of this in round one and you might notice that a lot more of it is gone. It's because I've been drinking it, you know, throughout the week a little bit here and there because I actually really like this water. It's, uh, it's a good tasting water. This is a high pH water. It's between nine and 10. It's just really good. Like I said before, it tastes a lot like the Trader Joe's one gallon container of water. It has the same lid as the Trader Joe's. I think, I think the Trader Joe's water is from New Zealand and um, it tastes very good and similar to that. Here are the flavored waters. This is sparkling lemongrass water. I think this is from Italy. It smells a little bit like lemongrass. It's sparkling. I, to be, I have to tell you guys, I'm not a fan of sparkling waters, but that is a sparkling water. Here's flow water. This is orange ginger flavored water. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just eliminate the lemongrass water right now. Just, I don't like sparkling waters, I don't like flavored waters. And just between these two, this is worse. Between these two, this one is worse. Between these two, this one is worse. So that's out. And here is the Shasta water. I just did the review for this like 15 minutes ago. And the large version of this just exploded and got you know, my shorts all wet and floor all wet. Here's the canned version. This is root beer flavored. It even smells a little bit like root beer. It, it really does. I don't know how they do it. Like, it says it's all natural flavors. Where does root beer flavor naturally come from? Uh, I just, I don't know. Maybe I should research that. If I had more time, I would have researched that before I started the video, but I just don't really have time. Let's hurry this up and get this over with. Uh, I'm going to eliminate both of these. This one because it's carbonated and this one because it's flavored. Um, waters should be pure and clean and flavorless and odorless. So let's do these two. It's really good. And this one also has like a mild taste of glass to it. Um, you know, this, is, this isn't a plastic bottle, but it doesn't really taste like plastic though. I'm gonna say that this one is the winner and I'm not going to drink any more of it. I'm gonna save the rest for round three or four or however long this one makes it. You know, out of all these waters, the 
Alcatru, I kind of know the least about. Just because it doesn't really say that much on the label. It's like, a, there's no information back here. It doesn't really say anything. But it, it's definitely the best tasting. There's no really doubt about that. And now I don't have to worry about uh, glass breaking in my checked luggage on the flight home. That's also a plus. All right, bye, Roy.